It's Goofy Game Time. Let's talk about Laboom. Gee, Alex, you're going to talk about Laboom? Yeah, I'm going to talk about Laboom. It's a goofy game, and uh, I've had fun with it. This is the Mayfair version. This is an older uh, from Mayfair games, so the rules are slightly different. See what I paid for it there? $4.95. Uh, this is the Steve Jackson uh, version and uh, the rules are slightly different so let's go over the rules shall we um little little bomb shape and inside you got a little die so you put the bomb in the center of the table and play with as many people as you want this is nice uh like in in restaurants you know you're sitting in a restaurant uh, you're having some pizza maybe you play this to see who's gonna pick up the tab or win I don't know, some kind of prize or something. Um, but um, you put the little bomb in the center and then the first player rolls. Okay, well, if the player rolls the fuse, right, then the bomb stays put, okay? If uh, the player rolls and then it passes on to the next player. If the player rolls the bomb, that means they get the bomb. So it's in the center, they roll the bomb, they get the bomb. Well, it's dangerous to get the bomb because if you get kapow, this explosion here, and you happen to have the bomb, you lose, okay? Now, let me go over the slightly different rules here. And this is the kind of goofy game that, uh, you know, you kind of, you're, you're flexible with the rules a little bit. In the Mayfair version, it says, uh, if you get the fuse, the bomb stays put, that's fine. Um, if the, if you, if the, you know, if the bomb, bomb shows up, then you get the bomb, just as I explained. And, uh, if you get the, um, uh, the explosion result, then the bomb blows up. Whoever has the bomb loses. Uh, and I guess for round two, the bomb goes uh, to the center if you want to play uh, a certain amount of rounds. In the Steve Jackson version here, uh, the, the one difference is, uh, you, you know, same thing. You put the bomb in the middle of the table, um, and then the first player rolls. If uh, you get a fuse, the bomb just stays where it is, just like I mentioned before. The difference with the Steve Jackson uh, version here is that if you if if people roll three fuses in a row the bomb explodes now you just got to keep track of that you know um, you, three people roll it uh, in a row uh, the bomb explodes right so you don't need the actual you know if you roll the explosion the bomb will explode but it'll also explode if three fuses are rolled um, uh, in a row, then the bomb explodes. Uh, if you if you have the bomb, and this is the difference here with uh, the Steve Jackson, if you have the bomb and you roll the bomb, then you are supposed to give this bomb to another player. I don't play it like that. Uh, you know, if I have the bomb and I roll the bomb, sometimes I've played. Depends depending on you know if you've got kids, you know, I don't know, grandparents, I don't know. I've played this, you know, you're sitting in a restaurant, you're waiting and stuff, and you're just playing this around. It's fun. You're throwing this die around, and the bomb's passing around. It's goofy. Uh, I've played uh, that if you roll the bomb, then the bomb goes to the center. It's one way to get away because, I mean, let's think about this. If you have the bomb, there's no way for you to get rid of the bomb if you're rolling. Uh, if you roll the, the, the explosion, the bomb explodes and you, you lose or you're out of that round. A, a lot of times I'll play it like that. You're just out of that round. If, if, if there's six people playing, if the bomb explodes, you're out. And then in the end, there's going to be one person left. Um, or you could just say, when, and when the bomb blows up, you lose. Okay? However you want to do it. But uh, if you have the bomb and you roll the bomb, right, the rules will say, well, I guess nothing happens because the bomb means you take the bomb. And if I have the bomb and I rolled it, that means I, I, I already have it, so I keep it. Nothing happens. If you roll the fuse, well, nothing happens because that's the fuse. Nothing happens. So when you're holding the bomb, 
you know, you're going to be, you're stuck with the bomb, right? So sometimes I'll play it where if I have the bomb and I roll the bomb, I get to put the bomb in the center. I've never really played it like Steve Jackson says here, where you can pass the bomb to, to another player. Uh, but you can do that, you know. Um, and then, of course, uh, if, if it explodes, then it explodes. So it's just slightly uh, different rules. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure you can even get the Mayfair, but... Listen, I just told you what the rules were, and you can be flexible, you know. I think this is a slightly nicer bomb. It's a little bigger. This is what you can get nowadays from Steve Jackson games, you know. This was, um, some reason, this bomb, which is this Mayfair. I've had this for years. There's no fuse. It doesn't come with a fuse, you know. Um, the Steve Jackson one comes with a fuse. But yeah, anyway, goofy game, uh, you know, you're playing for a prize or to last man standing type thing or you're just throwing these things around and it's uh, goofy fun and I enjoy goofy fun. La boom, la boom. <laughs>